must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys. Today, as always, we're going to continue right where we left off in Zora's Domain. Uh, I think Muzu was upset that King Dorofan gave me the Zora armor. Uh, I would like to go check that out. It just seems kind of hard to get to. Maybe if we're lucky I can do a bomb blast first try, so let's see. <laughs> Go something like this. Okay, didn't work. Bomb didn't drop. Sometimes when I do the launch, the bomb doesn't like come out. Actually, is there more arrows I can buy? No, there's not. All right, let's talk to these guys real quick. This will just uh, make the main quest go on a little bit more. Hmm. You came all the way here, but it was in vain. I have no desire to speak with you. Listen well, Muzu, there is something you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Link, is the man who my sister Mifa had feelings for. I was only a child then, so I did not know it myself at the time, but it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories, some of which were about my sister's undying love for a Hylian named Link. What? No! You cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie. Not this, Zora. How could Lady Mifa possibly have feelings for a Hylian like him? The facts are clear. He remembers nothing, even when he looks upon Pre Princess Mifa's statue. It is the truth, Muzu. Though you never knew it, he was ever in Mifa's heart. Meanwhile, Link just checking out the statue. Trigger the cutscene. Time to take a sip of my tea. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, don't all girls pretty much fall in love with Link? Even members of, like, other species? I was thinking, this reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child, always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time, I would heal you, just as I'm doing right now. I thought it was funny how, being a Hylian, you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was always willing to heal your wounds. Even back then. Good job. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this, that no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, if anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. No matter when, or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know, perhaps we could spend some time together. I don't know if Princess Zelda would like that. Actually, Princess Zelda is kind of mean to me, so maybe I will hang out with Mifa. <laughs> hmm? What's the matter, Link? Are you unwell? <sighs> hmm, you are quivering like a hatchling. What's the matter? Mifa, I remember. 
her. What? Do not mistake me for a fool, Hylian. There is no way you remembered her just now when it is most convenient. I mean, there is a way. It's just unlikely. Come on, Muzu, you should know that. Hmm? In any case, without any solid proof, I cannot possibly take it, you at your word. If you have any such proof, now is the time to show it. Do so, and I, I shall tell you how to get those shock arrows, yes. As well as anything else you wish to know. Solid proof. Hmm. Stubborn fool. Luckily for us, we have proof. Link, go ahead and show Musa the Zora armor. Oh. Don't worry, guys. This whole episode's not going to be cutscenes. We're actually going to do a lot of cool stuff. Muzu, look closely at the clothes Link is wearing. Huh? Hmm? You really think changing your clothes is going to make me... Mm -hmm. Eh? What in the... That's the Zora armor from before. Lady Mifa made that by hand, and yet it fits you perfectly. What is the meaning of this? Mm. Now you understand, do you not? Now you know who her heart belonged to and who she made this special armor for. The fact that this armor fits Link perfectly should be proof enough that Lifa made it for him I and mean, him alone. You have always disliked Hylians, even before the Great Calamity. That is why Mifa never told you. Mm. No. That you know, you must promise to help him save us all, Muzu. Please, tell us where we can find the shock arrows we need. Knowing you, I bet you have already figured it out. Hmm. I never would have imagined she would make that special armor for one such as he. I do not approve of asking for help from a Hylian, but I suppose it is our only option at this point. Ha! <laughs> I'm a proud Zora. That means I must take responsibility for my unwarranted behavior toward you. As promised, I should tell you, okay, tell me, where are they at? Mm. That tall mountain over yonder. It is called Ploimus Mountain, and there you will also find Shatterback Point. A terrifying creature has made its home up there. This awful beast shoots volley after volley of shock arrows. Even a single one could be fatal to a Zora. Uh. Aha! You must mean that Lionel... He is a man beast, that one. That shot that beast does indeed wield shock arrows. That is certainly one way to collect them quickly. He is vicious, to be sure, but I am certain Link will rise to the challenge. Uh... Guys, do you not see the Lionel shield I have on my back? I need twenty shock arrows. Alright, yeah, let's do it. Oh. Yep, alright, I know what I must do. Thank you guys. Sidon, you have very short legs. Just saying. Now that I can swim up waterfalls, it'd be easy to get there. So, there should be somebody walking around that has a quest that will lead me to get the Zora leggings. And that is what I want to look around and find. Unless I already have it, let me check. It's called Lionel Safari, I think. Let me see if I already have it. Because we did come to this area before. Okay, no I don't. So let's look around. Uh, there should be a Zora walking around that has this quest. Because I'm pretty sure the quest is to take a picture of the Lionel. And since we need to go find the Lionel anyway to kill him, um, we might as well get the quest and that done at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Let's just look around a little bit. Where is, I thought the person was like easy to find, but what kind of city is this, man? This is a weird design city. I don't really like it. This is a bunch of pathways that go to nothing and no one. They should have had the shops like on those pathways or whatever. Um, I I'm kind of tired of being in the middle of the night. Hi. Let's just sleep until morning. Mm -hmm. Oh. Seems like every time I record this game, it's in the middle of the night, so. Ah. Thank you. Alright, maybe now we'll be able to easily find the Lionel ah. Safari person. Is it one of you guys? No? Oh. 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 Yeah. Uh, he wants ten luminous stones. Oh. Hmm? 
I have a feeling this is going to be a ripoff. Ten limited stones is 700 rupees. And he gives me one diamond, which is only worth five... Oh, okay, a thousand. Thank you. So it is actually an upgrade worth. Um, that's not what I wanted, though. Maybe it's upstairs. Let's look upstairs. I really need this quest. And then, guys, we are going to search for the Zora helmet. And then we're going to take on the Lionel and all that good stuff. Wait, how many... Where does it show how many spirit orbs I have collected? Oh, I only got three. All right. How about you? Yes. This is the one. Yep, yep, this is it. We found it. She wants me to go up there. And then she'll give me the Zora leggings. All I gotta do is take a picture. Alright, cool. Now we're ready to go fight the Lino. Let's go. On our way there, I actually want to stop by Toto Lake. I'm gonna put a blue marker up there. And off we go. I'm pretty sure there's like sunken treasure around here, but let me, let me take a look. Somewhere in the water, I know there's sunken treasure in there. Oh well. There we go. A little speed boost to the waterfall. And now we will swim up. Yeah, buddy! Woo. Ooh, I saw some cool uh, platform dudes up there. A lot of them. Might be a lot of good loot right there, you know what I'm saying? Come on, we gotta get closer. Ooh, a hearty bass. Come on, baby. There we go. Whoa! Oh, this is crazy. Look at all that stuff. All right, let's go check out what are all, what all these are. Might as well, since it's here. Nice. He had nothing. Don't do it. How did that hit me? How do you like it? Oh no, I killed all of them on accident. No! What? Oh, there goes the chest. Dang it, now I gotta swim all the way back up. Time to take another sip of tea. I just realized I nearly died. That's alright. I want to get some of, get rid of some of these like one-off. I, I don't need these anymore. These one-off food items that don't really do anything. They just take up slots. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's good enough. One of the chests dropped down there. I don't know what was in it, but whatever. There's got to be another one. Yeah, there is. <laughs> he 
He's a lizard. He'll be fine. They do well in water. Oh, that's a good weapon. Actually, my boomerang's about to die, so... Are there any other chests? No, there's not. Oh, that should have been a hit, man. That, that definitely should have been a hit. Alright, we're swimming up this thing for the last time. Dang it. Wasn't even trying to get that fast, but whatever. Alright, so this puts us out right in front of Toto Lake, which is where we're going to find the Zora Helmet. I'm pretty sure, anyways. And then we're going to go fight the Lino. We got to get a bunch of shock arrows. I already have enough, but whatever. Let us look in the lake for the shock arrow. Haven't used cryosis in a while. Alright, I know it's somewhere around here. No? Aha! Boom! Zora Helmet. It allows you to spin and attack underwater. Very nice. Doesn't look that cool, but, you know, we're not going for style here. Alright, now I just need to... Actually, just keep heading this way. But you want to see a spin attack, guys? It does barely any damage, but it's better than nothing because normally when you're swimming, you can't attack at all. So it, it, it'll at least knock the enemies off of you, you know what I mean? Alright, so while we're here, guys, I'm going to summon Wolf Link. Also going to try summoning a couple of the exclusive amiibos that will give us some stuff. Actually, let's go kill this guy first. Uh, let's see. Let's let's use some better armor here. Uh, let's do this one, this one, this one. I I really like the ancient armor, so we'll use this. Gonna try to save some of my shock or er, some of my arrows. Wow, oh, it's nice having good weapons. Oh, five arrows, perfect. Hey, big boy, I'm over here. I should probably kill him. Yep. That's actually a good weapon right there. They're trying to give us good weapons before we go fight the Lino. That's what it is. Let's break open these crates. There might be some more arrows in here. Normally, this is the first Lino that, that you fight. Like, if you're just playing through the game. Because normally, you go to the Zoro's Domain first. I'm saving my arrows, so I'm trying not to shoot this guy. Where are you calling on for help, buddy? All your friends are dead. We're getting a lot of arrows, actually. Um, yes, I just need to keep going this way. Granted, I've already killed a couple Lynels, so I'm not too worried about this guy. Um, we are going to be able to get a lot of shock arrows, which is nice. But we don't really need them. But still, you know, I'm going to take them. Alright, yep, we found the path. As you can tell from the shock arrow. And the sign. Shatterback point this way. 
We should be able to collect at least 20 shock arrows if we're pretty uh, pretty good at loot looking everywhere for them. Alright, the Lionel is walking around somewhere, so we gotta be very careful. Then again, I don't really care if he attacks. We're gonna kill him either way. Yeah, there he is. Alright, let's, let's get a picture of him. So far, he doesn't even see us. I'm just gonna loot as many of these arrows as I can while he's not paying attention, you know what I mean? How much defense does this armor do that I'm wearing? 18. It's not bad. I'm probably gonna go... Actually, the rubber armor has shock resistance, so I'll throw that on as well. We look kind of stupid, though. Yeah, I, I mean... Ooh. Actually, let's do the barbarian helm. Dang, we're getting a lot of shock arrows. I think we're ready, guys. <laughs> Cookie! Let us go into battle! Matter of fact, I should be using my, my line elbow. Bro, you don't have to keep shooting him, man. I'm not right in front of your face. You're pathetic. Too easy. Wow. That's uh that's what happens when you wait to do this line out until you're already like super powerful. Twenty shock arrows off of him. A really nice Lionel shield, which also does damage when you deflect an attack, which is kind of cool. A much worse Lionel bow, and a decent Lionel sword. So I'm not—I don't even know if I want that bow. I mean, it's—I guess it is a little bit better than this one. The shield I will take. Um, I'm just gonna drop one of these, and then the sword I will also take. Um, man, I really need to just use some of these other weapons. I have so many good weapons. Dang. Guess I'm gonna drop the Knight's Claymore? I already have a lot of two-handed weapons, so... Alright, well that was easy. Now I can go back to Zora's Domain, but before I do that, and we're gonna go back to Zora's Domain and get the Zora Leggings, then we have the complete set. I'm actually not going to do Varuta next, even though it's basically ready now. I could just go start the Divine Beast, because I want to do Varuta last. So I'm going to do uh, probably Vodmado next, which is the, the Rito one. Gosh, I got a lot of shock arrows now. It's like a 64. Here's a few more. Whoa, look at Nadra. Jump at your own risk. Dang. Wolflink, you are very close to the edge there, bud. Alright, let's take a sip of tea, and we're gonna jump. Ah. 
I kind of want to just jump straight back to uh, Zara's domain, so let's do something like this. We're gonna go. Whee! <laughs> just get a little bit of height. Look at this, guys. I'm almost as tall as Death Mountain. We're just gonna drop right in on Zora's domain. Actually, let's go to the top of the fish thing because I think there's a Korok seed up there. I don't remember where it is. Is it like right on this point? It is. Got it. I just always remembered there was a Korok seed right on this point. Hey guys, I'm back. Killed the Lionel. Got the picture. Here he is. Big scary boy is dead now. Ah. Uh, yes, he's dead. Don't worry. Thank you. I'll tell the children of the domain about this. Maybe that will scare them away from the mountain. I mean, he's dead, but yeah. Ay! We got the full Zora set of armor, guys. Full set of armor. After East Reservoir Lake was finished, we made Zora Greaves as a token of friendship for Hylians who came to visit. But over time, the number of Hylians visiting the domain dwindled, and my father had to close his armor shop. These Zora Greaves here were the last pair left in the stock room when he closed up stock. Wearing these, even a Hylian could swim as well as a Zora. That said, these would be wasted on me. They are only useful for Hylian like you. Please take good care of him. Thank you. Alright guys, full set of Zora armor. Want to see what it looks like? Boom. And actually, if we upgrade the full set of Zora armor, it does have swim speed up. Um, so that's one thing that I want to do before we end. Is there? First of all, there was a shrine. I think it was this one. Let me warp here. There was a shrine. Do you guys remember that one shrine? Uh, it was like a big slope and there was like rupees and spike balls falling down. And that was pretty much the only thing that that shrine was. You had to get up the slope and dodge that stuff. There was a room in the side of the wall that I saw like after watching the video. But I missed when I was actually playing. And I think it was this shrine. I want to go back and see what the room was. And then also, uh, I do want to go upgrade my armor, so we need to upgrade the climbing gear and now the Zora armor, so we need to go to a Great Fairy Fountain as well. I still have yet to find the Great Fairy Fountain in the desert area, and I don't remember if that's the last one or not. Is this the shrine I'm thinking of? Dang it, nope. This is not it. Um, oof. Maybe it was this one. I might actually have to go back and look at the video. If it's not this one, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that because I don't want to waste any more time looking for it. I'll go back in the video and look and find out which one it was and then we'll do it. I think it was this one. I wish it would just warp me inside the shrine, but whatever. Wait a minute, is that ore? Ooh, it is. Please not just rock salt. Alright, we're getting our luminous stones back that we gave that guy. He gave us two diamonds. Pretty nice. Alright, I think it was this one, guys. I hope it was. Honestly, I don't think it is because I don't remember the waterfall thing, but... Dang it. I totally forgot which one it was. I don't think it's this one. Nope. Ugh. I thought it was by Mount Lanayru, guys. I really did. Anyways, alright, so Great Fairy, there's one right here. We could also buy arrows at Kakariko Village. Let's go to the Great Fairy over here, though. I feel like 
she can upgrade our armor a little bit beyond the capabilities of the Kakariko Village Fairy. I don't know if that's how it works. Like, I know you have to unlock more fairy fountains to get higher level upgrades. But I don't know if you have to go to that fairy to get the higher ones. Or once you unlock like two or three fairy fountains, then all of them can upgrade to level two or three. I don't know. I've never really tried, but I guess if this one can upgrade to level three, we'll know. Because I'm pretty sure I've, I've done three fairies, right? I thought that was wolf link. Okay, okay. You know what? Just forget about it. Okay, that one didn't work out, but we're going anyways. Actually, I should put my sneak armor on. She might have fairies around here. Let's see if we can get a couple extra fairies. No? No fairies. Probably because I already have a few in my inventory. Not a big deal. All right, guys, time to upgrade. Let's go. And here. Ah, oh, you've come here again. Okay, let me see your clothes. I can greatly enhance your clothing. So, this is already all level uh, two. I could get that to level three. Let's do the Zora armor for sure. I wish you could upgrade more than one at a time, but whatever. Skip. I want to get the Zora armor all to level 2 at least, so that way we can swim faster. It's going to make our uh, journey through Hyrule that much easier. Let's do the Zora armor. And let's do the Zora leggings. Zora Greaves. Sorry. Greaves is such a funny word. There we go. Alright, yep. Let's upgrade him again. Wait. Yep. Oh, I can do this one too? Alright. Uh, oh yeah, I got plenty. We, we can easily upgrade these to level 2. I do want to upgrade stuff to level 3, but my priority is level 2 first. Because that's what you need to get to get the set bonus. I want to I want to get the uh, climbing gear to level 2 as well. I know that was I was missing something on that. Yeah, the climbing boots. They're not even level 1. Oh. Yeah, let's do that. Wow, I have 42 rush rooms. I've been saving them cuz I knew I would need them for this, but I didn't know I had that many. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're already at time for this episode, so But, no big deal. I'm just going to be upgrading some stuff. Here we go, oh. level 2. Wait, can I not upgrade the climbing boots? What? I need electric key swing? Where am I supposed to find that? Oh my oh. goodness. I need electric key swing, guys. Where am I? Where do I find that? Anybody know? Let me know in the comments. I don't remember like where I could mm -hmm. find those. I think I remember vaguely I found some electric keys up in uh, Death Mountain area. Let's see what else we can upgrade anyway. Dang, I, I could upgrade these even higher. I could upgrade the Snow Quill set. The Barbarian set. I could upgrade this even higher. Ah, we might as well do the Rubber Armor level 2. I'm going to have to upgrade that eventually as well. I already got the Stealth set. Yeah, let's just do the rubber armor. I don't I don't remember where you get the rest of the rubber set, but we'll get it eventually. And it probably has a set bonus, so. Alright, um I do use a snow quill set quite often, but we don't even have any of this upgraded. Let's upgrade the desert bow stuff. I am gonna use it once we actually go to the desert area, so we might as well get it all to level one if we can. I don't know if it has a set bonus. But, it'd be cool if it did. I don't even care about the defense that much. I just want the set bonuses, but the defense is nice. I mean, we could just upgrade the Snow Quill set a little bit, but... 
Might as well because I'm gonna be questing mm -hmm. in the uh, the Rito area, I guess, pretty soon. And we do have we have enough to upgrade two of them. Let's do the leggings first because I hate that I'm always leaving the leggings for last on all the sets. Oh my gosh! Skip that. Skip that. Not right now. Beautiful. Alright, I can do one more piece of snow quill. Then I need sh sun shrooms? Okay. Very nice. Anything else I want to upgrade? I mean, I guess we can do the Hinox. The so soldiers. Greaves. My soldier's outfit is going to be super high defense. It's almost like stupidly high. I don't even need it this high. But since we can do it, I mean, I've killed lots of Hinox. We might as well use their parts. Okay. And... I guess we can upgrade the Barbarian Helm. We're gonna need it upgraded Ooh. eventually anyway, so level two, so... I think it doesn't have a good set bonus if I remember right, but whatever. Oh. Alright, I'm done upgrading. Huh. Go back in your hole, big giant lady. <laughs> You're terrifying. Alright, last but not least, guys. I am going to just summon a couple amiibos here, see if we get anything lucky. These are amiibos that can drop exclusive items, so I'm hoping that we'll get something. Money is always good, too. Alright, don't really need that. This is also a good way to get upgrade materials, to be honest. Alright, let's do one more at least. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Give me something good. Ooh, Endura Carrot is actually really good. Oh! Oh no, I thought it had times three, but that is actually a lot of damage. 38 damage, straight up. Uh, guess I'm gonna drop this one. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, like I said, if, if you remember which shrine it was that I need to go back and revisit that I didn't we might actually be able to tell because it it show a treasure chest. It's this one. It, this one has a treasure. It doesn't have the treasure chest icon. All right, let's check it real quick. I'm always extending episodes, but it is what it is. I, I like to try to, to hit 30 minutes, but if we go 40, 45 minutes, that doesn't bother me at all. I don't think you guys mind either. I just remembered that if you get all the treasure chests in the shrine, it does put a little treasure chest icon next to the name on the map. And this one did not have the icon, so... Even if this isn't the right shrine I'm thinking of, there is a treasure chest in here that we did not get. So let's just check it real quick. I'm hoping it's the one that we want. I'm pretty sure I got all the chests in all the other shrines, so... I'd be surprised if this isn't it. Really? Really? We didn't get all the treasure in this? Really? Alright. Seems a little bit weird. We got that chest. So where, oh, it's a secret chest. Ooh, uh-oh. I did not see that, very clever. Very clever, all right. A ruby, okay, now for sure I got the treasure chest here. So which one was it then? I got that one. I thought it was somewhere down here. We got that one, we got that one. We got that one, we got that one, we got that one. I don't know, guys. I don't know. We got all these treasure chests. Ooh, this one right here. Greedy Hill. That's what it, it even says the name of the shrine. That's all I needed to look at. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one's Greedy Hill. This one's for sure the one that I wanted. 
But hey, we found another shrine that I didn't get the treasure chest, so it worked out. By the way, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. It really helps me out. And I'm going to run in here before I start on fire. I actually would not mind uh, exploring Death Mountain a little bit again. Because we always get so much ore. And I'm all about getting rich, you know what I mean? And um, not only that, but it's just something fun to do. Okay, this one for sure, I know I missed. Oh gosh. It's like the same thing over again. Wait, did the gems drop too? Alright, here's the uh, here's the spot I missed. Alright, another ruby. Nice. I got 13 of those, 25, 11. The only thing I need is one more topaz, and then I can really sell a lot to the to the lady. Um, so. Alright guys, well that's gonna be it for this episode. Hope to see you in the next one. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.